Every brother Let's call it in the crossfire Let's call it in the crossfire Without mercy all right, how's it going everybody? Al Nino here. Yes, there are two Al Ninos right now. One up here, one down there. But let's just forget about it, all right? If it freaks you out too much, let me know. Um, we're going to show you guys how to utilize Shempo. This is something every Katarina player needs to know with the new rework. And I have an example here in uh, one of my recent games uh, against uh, a Draven and a Velkaz here in mid lane. So I'm just going to run the clip and I'm going to go through it together. Okay, so as you see my mouse... Back here, look at where my mouse is. I'm pointing my mouse behind the Draven, so I'm able to place myself here. The axe is throwing, he's gonna walk here. So the reason I do that is because Velkaz is right here, and I wanna be able to cue him from this side so that the blade, just like that, jump up behind him, cue, and then the Q dagger comes here because I positioned myself here, Velikaz ulted. So once I get the reset quickly, I'm able to shampoo back here and escape. So let's rerun the clip and let's say I shampoo in a different position this time. Let's say I shampoo here. If I shampoo here, everything that I just did will be, would be drastically different, right? Velikaz would ult me and I wouldn't have anywhere to shampoo to. Keep in mind, if you look at the mini map, there's no minions coming. I have no ally minions that I can shampoo on when I try to make my escape. So it's ideal to shampoo yourself behind the enemy target if you're positioning to escape. This even works not in just a scenario like this. This would work even if you're being chased by someone and then someone's ahead of you, all right, and then you're middle and someone's behind you and you're just in the middle sitting there. You can actually, if Vi charges a Q, you can shampoo behind the Vi, Q. WR and then you can get two of them if I doesn't have ulti of course, but yeah, it's kind of weird that I'm using The fucking fingers and shit like that. Let's just I'm just giving you guys an example of how shampoo can be used in these different situations Right here. I just queue like that this This laser I'm able to completely avoid after I shampoo like that so I don't receive more of the laser laser damage So this is one way to you utilize shampoo optimize your performance with shampoo It just it makes you more versatile that understanding if you should shampoo behind someone or in front of someone makes a huge difference so let's say for example if I wanted to go in on Varkos 2 and he was low health, I would just Q Draven like this in this range. E W R if he gets if he was like let's say here or something, right? You can even like jump like this here. Put your mouse here, Q so that it bounces here. Kill Draven, Shampo, Shampo, because you get Shampo reset when you go on the dagger. You get Shampo on the minion and then Shampo on Velkaz, right? So where you position is just huge. It really makes a difference. So you could even just Shampo directly here and throw the dagger like that, depending on where you want. Let's say, for example, uh, you want to Shampo on the left. Shampo on the left of Draven, you get the Q here. It will land here if you Shampo like that, right? It will go across the terrain and maybe you can get make a play here if someone shows up here. It, it just... Shampo now is not just go in to gap close. Shampo is way more cooler now. You get the, to make these sick ass plates. I'm gonna run you guys another clip just so everyone gets the idea here. I'm gonna run another clip. Okay guys, here I'm gonna show you guys another clip where I utilize Shampo based on the situation at hand. Keep in mind, you don't always have to use this technique of Shampo behind people. Like sometimes you can just all in people and make sure you kill them that way. But sometimes really positioning your shampoo makes a big difference. So like here's an example. So I see Morgana low. I, f I ignore Vi because she queued. I wanted her to queue away so that she can't focus me. All right, watch this. So Vi charges her queue like this. Uh, typically in this situation, people would use W to get extra movement speed to walk away and escape. But in this situation, I take this, this chance to directly jump up behind Vi and completely avoid the Q damage. So she's able to not, eat, you know, she can't gap close to me anymore because Q is Vi's only gap closer and her ulti. So in a situation like this, I position my mouse directly behind Vi and boop, just like that, completely avoid the Q damage, completely avoid everything with a press of a button, time it pr properly and put your mouse behind the champion, completely avoided the Q damage. And then I just use W to get extra movement speed to escape. 
utilizing shampoo in certain situations makes a huge difference and this is one of the differences that it makes hell if i didn't do that i would have received acute damage basic attack e and i you know why would you want to receive damages outplay them with shampoo you, shampoo is just so so much more versatile with the new katarina you can make all these cool things that you can never really do before well with the old katarina you could just shampoo directly on by it would put you behind the enemy champion 100 percent of the time so now it's it's still nice to have these options of behind and forward because now with the daggers and how the daggers work where you position yourself makes a big difference with the daggers so you know having the dagger sort of you know shampoo behind someone throw a dagger for you to bounce it to that direction because next you want to jump on that direction to get the reset there or something so there's more versatility going on there's more there's more shit going on i will show you guys another one more clip because here's a clip where you don't really care where you shampoo you just go in and go ham you know you can do things so you just get it done here i'm able to completely stop them from sieging inhibitor turret so and they just back off it was hella worth. So in a situation like this, um, when I see Velkaz low, I like I can get a re uh, not Velkaz. Is it Velkaz? Yes, Velkaz is low. I know there's three of them stacked together at the same place. I just flash E directly on the Velkaz, and then I just full combo him. W Q make the bounce. The bounce, bl uh, the bounce blade went like this. So, but yeah, I would just go in. My Shampo was placed um, directly. We are sh we're directly on him, on directly on the target. So I wasn't behind him, it wasn't left of him. This is depending on the situation. Um, I just wanted to gap close as quick as possible. Like I didn't have time to position my mouse behind him. I just want to FE kill him real quick. And he's just standing there, right? He just stood there. It's, it's, it's very quick, it's very instant. He didn't think I would do that. So boom, just WQR, tons of damage. And then I just jump on this dagger. I'm able to damage her as well. Just get a reset, Q him like that bounces off like this bounces here so i'm able to shampo directly here try to get another w but i failed miserably on that try to kill nami as fast as i can to get that reset to kill nasus but it didn't work out but regardless we stopped their sieging so these are just shampo techniques that i think every character player should know like knowing when to shampo how to shampo where to position yourself is so huge shampo is fucking awesome now and you can make all these sick ass moves and shit i love it so that's it guys that's it i just want to make this quick short video to let you guys know about this uh shampoo technique that i think everyone should know so yeah practice 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 get some get some games in try to make these sick ass plays um of course uh also where you shampoo on the dagger makes a difference so i'm just gonna go over real quick on my dagger shampoo right there when i queued here uh sorry it was a little bit backwards right here i just jump up directly on the on the dagger because she's walking like this so i don't have to position upwards downwards right sometimes you want to jump on the dagger like towards the right side if you want to get someone like standing here but yeah i just jump up directly on it she was walking back anyway you know you can easily get a hit like that so yeah where you position where you jump also makes a big difference on the dagger so anyway those are those are just quick examples guys thank you all so much for watching and i will see you guys later big hot and a big kiss and i will see y'all on summoner's rift